Hi friends, it's been a while. I decided if I had to look good to come on camera, I might never come back. So I'll just do it even though I'm not feeling still the best because I did finally get my Ipsy for December. That, yeah, what is this? Third of January maybe? But they did send out an email saying that it was going to be late. What they didn't say was we're gonna send it out and still not have all the products in it though. So I am missing products. But honestly, I wasn't all that impressed with this December month that they were sending me anyway. So um, the best products are the ones, of course, that are missing. So shall we start? This was the bag. Nothing to write home about. <laughs> I'm going to start down a tangent that nobody cares about. But really, like, wonder how they do that. Does one person get to make all of the bags and then they got bored or... You know, does like a new person get to come up with the design? Oh, they chose for me um, <laughs> this lovely Kate Zum Summersville Exfoliate Cleanser. Um, yeah, this is how it showed up. But, um, you know, that happens when things get mailed to you and the product inside seems to be fine. And I have never used this and have heard very nice things about it. So this kind of excited. One day I shall try this Kate Summersville Exfolicate Daily Foaming Wash. It supposedly is worth $44 if you just, you know, buy it regular from people. I think it sounds fine. Pretty happy with it. Next, they chose for me this eyeshadow palette that has a 12-month expiration date there on the back of it. Um, but I know that i would gotten it from, you know, probably then BoxyCharm since they're not supposed to send me the same one twice in Ipsy, but well more than 12 months ago. So I'm pretty sure this has just been sitting on a shelf for a long time. So I'm not going to open it because I have the other one. I'll show you. It's not one of my favorite um, palettes. The payoff isn't great. It's kind of um, like almost too hard pressed um, to get, you know, a lot of great payoff. Um see I have I felt like this shiny purple was kind of a pretty color before um but I mean just yeah very little there kind of toppery and I kind of liked this gold glittery one a little chunky there but um yeah I've kind of used those two and I mean you can tell that I have you know used some of the others but see how I mean it almost looks like I had to really kind of dig down into them to get payoff let's just do these two reds here. Just to show you. Yeah, so even though they say it's a $48 value and it's, what was it, Illuminati? I think that's stretching for them to be, you know, dipping back into things that I know of they've had around for so many years. God, I'm looking a wreck, aren't I? I probably don't have any reason to be given Ipsy hell. It's probably just somebody looking like me that's in their offices pulling old stuff down off shelves saying, hey, look what I found. We could send these out to some people. Um, all right, so there was that. Now, for my first set of product choices, I'll put that over there. Um, they had the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Healthy Perfector which is what I tried to get. I think it was a $30 value. And I mean, look at this hair. It needs some perfecting. So I was kind of excited about that. They also had that Artist Couture Caliente palette, which I already have also. Um, again, a sad thing, you know, with Ipsy and Boxy being so similar that you're going to have repeats if you're doing them both. The Farah Blender set. Yeah, I don't need that. This Acne Control Purifier from Murad. I really feel like, first of all, I shouldn't be getting acne products, but I think that I've gotten that before and gave it to my daughter. So that was kind of strange. The Unicorn Fruit Ripped Body Butter by Truly. I have tried that before and it's not one of my favorites. It's just, it feels very um buttery. Um, and when I say buttery, I mean like kind of oily. Like if you were just to put butter on your skin, how it isn't actually moisturizing your skin. It just leaves you feeling greasy. That's kind of how I feel about that. But it smelled really good and it's really cute and pretty. Um, I can't get over every time I look 
at the screen how much of a wicked witch I look like. And then the other thing was a complex culture filter out daily blue light defense mist. Um, but I had gotten a blue light mist, you know, a month or so ago, so I didn't pick that one. But the living proof, I can't show it to you because they didn't send it to me. But it was supposed to fight frizz and unlock smoother, healthier, shinier looking locks. Actually, maybe I could just blame this on the fact that I didn't get that. See, I, I could have been set for the second set of choices. They had another hair care product, this Alterna hair care caviar thing, which actually I probably liked, but then I was going to have three hair products coming in the same bag, and I think I decided not to do that. And so I did get the Wonder Beauty Mile High Length and Defining Mascara. Um, I feel like I've had the one in the red from this company before, and it was okay, so I thought I'd try it. Absolutely hate it when those rose quartz gua sha things are on the list because they've sent me that before. How many do they think that people need? Um, a perfume, a blush, and an eyeliner brow pencil thingy, it looks like, were my other choices. So this, again, $26 value. And my third set of choices was a liquid eyeshadow, a Cab Cosmetic Lip Gloss. Have I mentioned before, I really don't like anything that I've tried from Cab Cosmetics. Um, this Farrah Palm brush. I don't like odd shaped brushes. I need them to go in my little jar and sit there nicely. Otherwise, they're going to be stuck in a drawer and I'm not going to know where to use it. A brightening body scrub. I actually like body scrubs. That would have been okay. And these um, rosé sheet mask set. That looked nice too. But the Sole Miracle Perfecting Spray for my hair is what I wanted. Again, they didn't send it. It was a $90 value too. So... I'm, I have emailed them. They haven't responded yet, but I hope that I get that treatment and they don't say, you know, they're out and they'll, I don't give me points or I don't even know what they do. Do they refund you something? Um, I'm kind of doubting that they'll be giving me something this $90 nice, but did anybody who ordered that get it? That's watching this. You should let me know. See if they didn't give it to anybody. It says, bring on the heat with this strand strengthening, ultra smoothing, protecting spray. It's a nourishing formula. Also adds moisture, volume, and shine to your hair with hydrolyzed wheat protein. Spray generously all over damp hair and style it as usual. See, I wouldn't have this mess going on if I had that. Then I did get two add-ons. Just the $3.50 ones. This one sheet mask, which a lot of times I think $3.50 is a lot for a sheet mask, but... This one, supposedly, was $32 for one of them, and so I felt like I needed to see what that was about. Um, actually, I mean, you know, I'm not wearing any makeup, but my skin doesn't look that bad lately. I feel like all the sleep I've been getting from being sick um, maybe is, I mean, you know, still a almost 50-year-old woman's skin, but it's not terrible looking. That's what I'm saying, a lot of sleep. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, that's nice. And then I also, just because $3.50 and it was, you know, an eyeshadow palette, it was only originally $13, I believe. This Trend Beauty, it's a 15 shade palette. But I actually kind of thought the colors for, you know, somewhat neutral palette, it's still pretty. I thought that the, is that one kind of broken a little? Mm, no, not really. It looks more on the camera. Um, but yeah, I kind of liked the shimmery, bronzy colors and even like the the yellow and the peaches and the burgundies. I think it's a matte white. I think it's a nice looking palette. And $3.50, I think even if I don't end up, you know, using it because I've got so many, it'll make a nice gift for somebody at some point, I think, because I think it's kind of pretty. And... Yeah, I mean, thanks for joining me because this wasn't all that interesting because mostly I'm just complaining that they didn't send me what I wanted and <laughs> I'm not trying things on. Usually it's a little more interesting. But hey, first one back for like a month um, and I'm still feeling rather cruddy. So thanks for hanging in there and seeing my video. Thanks for subscribing. And um, I do have Copacetic Cosmetics. Maybe those will be more interesting videos coming up. Thanks, guys. Bye.